wondering what an adoption profile is, why they're so important, and how to make a great one? Don't worry, friend, I've totally got your back because that's what we're going to walk through on today's video. Today, I'm gonna to share the most common adoption profile types and why your adoption profile is so critical to helping you match faster. If we haven't met yet, my name's Amanda. I'm an adoptive mom of two on a mission to make your adoption easier, faster, and more affordable. I sure would love it if you would subscribe to the channel and ring the little bell icon so that you get notified each and every time that I release a new video. Today, we're talking about all things adoption profile. We're gonna first start with why it's so important, then we're gonna move into really what it is and how it can help you match faster. And I might even give you a few bonus tips here and there that I used in my own adoption journey and that I've coached my hundreds of clients through. And in fact, just in the past few months, we've had four adoptions through using these exact tips. So grab a pen and paper. I know you're gonna find a ton of value today. All right, so let's dive right in by talking about what an adoption profile is. An adoption profile really is that initial hello to expectant parents. It is the way that you can tell your story to an expectant parent so that they can decide if they want to get to know you better. I often think about this as um, like a dating site, right? So on a dating site, you're gonna have a little picture, a little bio, a little bit about you. And that's really the way you think about kind of the opening of an adoption profile. Now, this adoption profile, I would argue though, is the most important piece of communication or marketing, because that's what it really is, that you are going to create for your life. I think it's even more important than your resume because this is your family and this is how you are going to build your family. And while I would never, ever, ever tell my husband this, this is actually more important than your first date, right? Because this is how you become a mom, how you become a parent. So the real secret behind an adoption profile is all in the clarity of your story. We're gonna talk about that in just a few minutes, but first let's talk about the different types of adoption profiles that you might need in your journey. Now, I will tell you, the type of adoption profile that you need in your journey is going to vary based upon the way you are matching your adoption. So if you're self-matching, working with an agency, working with a consultant or an attorney, you might need different types of adoption profiles. So I'm gonna give you an overview, but if you're curious about what type of profile you need, don't worry, I've totally got you. I've got your back. We will talk about that in another video, depending upon which type of matching that you're working through. Okay, so the different types of adoption profiles. First, for most of us, when we hear adoption profile, we think a profile book, like a physical book that you would like hand out to somebody, carry around with you, right? And I would tell you that this actual type of uh, profile is becoming less and less prevalent and less and less popular because we really have gone to be a, a virtual and a mobile world, right? Like everyone is walking around with their phone in their hand and you want to have a profile that is flexible enough to be consumed, no matter her preferences as it relates to holding a physical book in her hand or simply holding her phone. So the next few types are really geared more towards digital. Um, so the next type of adoption profile is a PDF. And think about this as a skinnier or lighter version of the book, right? So the average book would have been like 20 pages. Can you imagine trying to read a 20 page PDF on your phone? No, it's really not that conducive, right? So you wanna have a smaller version that maybe has a little less text, a little bit more pictures, or a great combination of the two together that would make a really great adoption profile from a PDF perspective. Something that is small enough that you can email back and forth um, with your agency and that they can actually email to expectant parents as well. The next type of profile are social media accounts. And I'm using this as one big bucket because we could talk for hours and hours and days, which we will friend, don't worry about that as it relates to social media. This is a question I get quite a lot in my Facebook group over on um, my adoption coach, the Facebook group. 
And people ask me quite often, like, do I need a business account? Do I need a personal account? What do I use to post in groups? What do I use to post um, in on Instagram? Should I use TikTok? What is Clubhouse? I mean, the, the questions go on and on and on. So don't worry about that. That'll actually be our next series. We will dive into social media. We'll dissect each platform and I will give you all of my best tips and recommendations based upon what my clients have seen work the best. And just as a spoiler alert, in the past three months, I have had three clients actually match all through social media based upon the tips that I've shared with them. So you want to stick around because that's going to be incredibly valuable. So make sure you come back and check those out as well. Okay, so social media accounts, again, I would highly suggest that you have a presence on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, and we will dive into those in later episodes, but those are three ways to have a social media presence for your adoption profile or have an adoption profile through social media. Okay, tip number four, or type number four, rather, would be a website, and the website is quickly replacing the book. It is becoming the, what I would call longer form content for those of us in the marketing world. And for those of us not in the marketing world, we can think of that more easily as a better place to get to know someone on their phone, right? People don't, again, want to carry around that book. So instead I can go to a website and I can watch a video about you and I can, you know, dive more deeply into who you are as individuals, as couples, and still yet I can remain pretty anonymous if I'm still just in that initial like pre-dating stage, if you will. Um, and this really has become a really terrific uh, solution for many uh, hopeful adoptive families, especially those that are self-matching. Just as a note, if you're using an agency attorney or consultant, they likely will have a website for you um, off of their page. They're likely going to have a template that you're going to use. They're going to make it pretty simple for the mechanics of the website itself. And I would still strongly urge you to be super intentional about what you're sharing. And as a matter of fact, I have a, a whole program and approach that teaches you what to share and how to share. But it's really important that that pulls through every element, especially your website. And for those of you that are self-matching and you're a little worried about the tech or you are a little apprehensive, let me tell you that having a website is so much easier than you think it is. And if you need help with that, just reach out at any time. Um, I'm always happy to help you. If you have a question on that, I'll have my email address below, but um, it's really simple to, to reach out and, and get some help there. So don't be scared of the tech, my friend, because this is a really important step. And I would say it's only probably second in importance to our last type of adoption profile, which is a video. Okay, this is something that I have a lot of passion for, my friend. Uh, video is a great way to teach about your family in a different way. Um, I, for those of you that notice, I have recently begun teaching on YouTube because it is just a different way to connect with your audience. And one of the kind of the secret tips, if you will, as it relates to your adoption profile is making sure that you are creating your content in a way that they like to consume it. So in a way that they most authentically want to get to know you. And if you think about where she is in her initial steps of choosing a family before she talks to you or before she feels ready to talk to you, she wants to get to know you a little bit better. Video and websites are a great way for her to get to know you. More specifically on video, she can hear what you sound like. She can see what you look like. She can pick up more on your mannerisms. Do you like to talk with your hands a lot? Maybe I do. Uh, do you, you know, um, she can just really get to know you at a whole different level. So video is a really important factor for you to consider as it relates to your adoption profile. Again, this does not have to be hard or confusing. I'll have lots of content that I can share with you as it relates to video and how to make a great video. Um, and we can walk through that together um, if that's something you're interested in, but video does not have to be hard. It can be as simple as you holding your phone in front of your face, in front of a window with natural light or outside and speaking from your heart. 
You just want to make sure that you're doing it in a way that ties back to your overall profile and isn't aligned with your family values and what you are trying to communicate as a family. But more on that in just a few minutes. So I sure would love to know what types of profile you are using in your adoption journey. I'd love it if you'd leave a comment, if you leave, um, you know, reach out to me over on the Facebook group, et cetera. I'd love to learn more about what you're using and what you're finding helpful so that I can share tips that will specifically help you. I'm all about helping you one-to-one. -one. I know that the podcast and the YouTube channel are kind of more mass, but I know that each adoption journey is more specific and everything is a little bit different, right? There's no like blanket approach for everybody. And that's the reason why I really would love for you to share with me what you're doing. So drop a comment, head on over to the Facebook group. Let me know what type of adoption profile you're using and how I can help you to make you feel really confident that you're using the type of adoption profile and you have great quality content inside that profile that makes you feel confident that you're going to get picked by an expected parent. Okay, now let's shift our attention to why your adoption profile is so important. And as promised, I have a few little bonus tips for you here as well. So again, I've talked about this a couple of times, but my first reason why your adoption profile is so important is it's your initial hello. This is your way of communicating with her before she's ready to communicate with you. This is the way you can share a little bit about your family, but it is so incredibly critical that you are sharing things in an easy to understand way. More about that in a minute. The second step is this is really, or the second reason why this is so important is this is the way you start forming a relationship. So this is your first impression and first impressions really do matter in this case. Um, I often share with my clients, if she is on social media or looking through a list of profiles on her phone, you have got about three seconds to make an impression for her to thumb to stop scrolling up on her phone and start clicking on your profile. You want to have that clickable moment with the content you're sharing and how you're marketing your family really so that she wants to learn more about you and so that she's not just scrolling past you and moving to the next family on the list. So it is so important because it is that initial first impression, that initial hello. And I've talked about this a couple of other times as well, but this is her risk-free way of getting to know who you are as a person. And this is so important. Think about where she is for just a minute. She is experiencing all kinds of emotions. She has a lot of pressure on her. She's worried. And she's maybe even still trying to decide if adoption is right for her. And so she doesn't want to sit and process all of that with you when you're a perfect stranger, right? And so at this moment, this is her risk-free way of trying you out, so to speak. She's going to look at your profile. She's going to try to see this family in her mind and this child within this family in her mind. And she's really going to start internalizing that before she chooses to reach out to you. And that is so, so critical of importance that this she's trying to see if you're a good fit. She doesn't want to break your heart, just like she doesn't want to break her own heart, right? And so that's the reason why having all of these different types of profiles and having a profile that's really clear to understand who you are is so important in this overall journey of adoption. Okay, I promised you a few bonus tips, uh, and these are tips that I should actually share inside a free training that I offer, and I'll share a minute uh, I share in a minute how to get more information on that, but these are just a few bonus tips before you head on over to check that out. So from a bonus tip perspective, the very first thing as I talk about your profile is the three C's. You want to be super clear, you want to be concise, and you want to be compelling. Again, you've got three seconds, maybe even less if I'm being brutally honest, for her to choose to click on your profile to get to know you a little bit better. So when you talk about the need for brevity and for being compelling, there is no greater way to, that, to demonstrate this other than to think about when you are scrolling through your Facebook feed 
and you're deciding what you want to stop and engage with from a content perspective, do you want to see about Aunt Sue shelling peas or do you want to learn about little Johnny's tooth being gone, her first tooth, right? Um, losing his first tooth, if I could get my words out. <laughs> um, so you, you understand my point. Think about your own uh, content consumption habits, to use a marketing term, um, as it relates to what somebody might or might not be clicking on. But don't worry, when it comes to adoption, there's this very specific framework that I can teach you to help make sure that you're the profile she wants to click on. The second bonus tip that I want to share with you, this may shock you, so just sit down, take a deep breath with me. Your profile is actually not about you, friend. Not at all. Yes, you're sharing your story. And yes, she's deciding whether or not you're the right fit. But if you are not seeing and telling your story from her perspective, you're going to miss the mark, plain and simple. You are not the hero, if you will, in this journey. You are the guide. You are guiding her to a way of um, under thinking about this family and this child in this family. And you just happen to be the family that you're guiding her to. So if you are making yourself the hero here, or if you are making your profile all about you, you're going to miss the mark. And again, that's something I can help walk you through. Because you, the third bonus tip is that you want to make sure that you are constructing your story in a way that she can take in, despite her learning style, despite her history, despite any filters that she may be seeing you through, you want to make sure that your story comes through. I know this sounds probably like marketing mumbo jumbo, but it really is based in science. It is based in the principles of neuro linguistic programming, NLP. And this is not some like, uh, you know, tricky way to get someone to choose you at all. This is actually about understanding how the human brain works and putting that through an adoption lens when you have emotions and societal factors and all of these other things coming into play. And it is about putting all of that front and center and using a framework, which I teach, that walks you through how to create and share your story in a way that she can take that on. I am always giving my clients, um, you know, coaching as it relates to creating these high quality profiles, because it is so important to your adoption journey. And these three tips are just the surface of what we really dive into. And so if you're interested in learning more, no matter where you are in your journey, no matter if you are just starting out and you haven't written a profile yet, and you're like, I don't even know what to do. And my agency is going to require me to use a specific form and all of these buts and ifs, I call them. Or if you already have a profile and maybe you've been waiting for a while um, and you're worried that your profile may be the thing that's keeping you from actually getting picked, then I really would urge you to head on over to the link that is in the show notes so that you can get signed up for the free training that I offer on creating your profile. Now, I do offer a paid class as well um, that walks you through everything that comes with one-to-one -one coaching with me where I actually work on your profile with you. And you can learn more about that as well. But the free training is a great place for you to start just to make sure that you're passing that kind of initial stage gate, if you will, of like, how does this really help me? And do I have a high quality profile or do I need a little bit of help? And it is totally fine to get help on your profile, friend. Your job in this uh, adoption journey is to represent yourself and to um, do everything you can to make your own adoption easier, faster, and more affordable. And I'm just your friend along the way to, to help you with that. Okay, so be sure to check out the show notes so that you can find more information about that free training that I offer. Um, I don't offer it over on um, YouTube or via podcast because it is a little bit longer. It's about a 45 minute ish training. That's a little bit too much to include here. But I do know this will help you. And let's both agree that getting some free help along your adoption journey never hurt anyone. Right, Fred? All right. Well, there you have it, friend. 
the reasons why you need to create a high quality profile, what are the different types of profiles that you could, should consider in your adoption journey, and finally, just a few bonus tips to help you get started if you haven't already created a profile. Listen, no matter where you are in your adoption journey, I trust that you found a lot of value in today's content. And if you did, I know you would absolutely love that free training. So make sure you click the show notes, grab your link so that you can grab a spot in that free training. And if you're not quite ready to work on your profile yet, maybe you have a few other steps, you know, between now and the time you get there, make sure to check out all of the other free videos on my channel that'll help you get ready for your profile stage. Remember, anything is possible with the right plan and support, and I'm always here to have your back to make your adoption easier, faster, and more affordable. Talk to you soon, friend.